Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we are going to be doing a review and a wear test on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy. This is their newest foundation. It's not a new foundation. It's been around a really long time. I'm just a little bit late to the boat, but um, I am finally getting around to trying out this foundation. This will be a first impressions review. I have not tried this foundation yet. To be honest, I haven't been that thrilled about trying it at all because I don't have much luck with Wet n Wild, but I am really, really hoping that I am going to like this foundation. Before I do a little bit of bump on this product, please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed, and you've hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. At present, I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 8 p.m. London time, and I'm also doing a few sneaky videos in between. So please make sure you've hit that notification bell and you won't miss any of them. Let's do a little bit of bump on this product and we'll get some on my face. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. It's £5.99, only £5.99. Yes, you only get 28 mils instead of the standard 30 mils, but two mils really isn't worth quibbling over, especially when the foundation is so, so affordable. This comes in 14 different shades. I've gone for the shade Soft Ivory and also Nude Ivory. I didn't know which one I would be, so I bought both as they are both really, really affordable. So I'm hoping I'll get my use out of them. This gives medium coverage, buildable to full coverage, or so it says. It's a silky cream dewy finish. It's supposed to smooth out pores and blur imperfections. It's also supposed to be really long wearing, which will be excellent for a more dewy foundation if that is the case. It's got a moisturizing formula. It's ideal for anybody who has dry skin. It's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's gluten free, and it's also talc free. Let's get some on my face. Okay, so as per usual, I already have all my skincare on my face and I've given that plenty of time to sink in before I'm applying the foundation. I have two different shades of foundation. This one is Soft Ivory and um, this one is Nude Ivory. Nude Ivory. So we're just gonna make a choice on which one is best for my skin. I'm thinking this one, it's slightly warmer, whereas this one is really, really pink and will probably make me look a little bit ashy and gray. So I'm gonna go for the soft ivory. I'm gonna put half of that on my face with a generic blending sponge and the other half on my face using a foundation buffing brush from Brush Junkie, which is my favorite foundation brush at the moment. So, um, Let's get some of this on. So like I've just shown you, this does come with more of a spatula. It doesn't come with a pump. So uh, I'm just gonna pop that on the back of my hand. I don't like this application squeezy dispenser type tool. Um, it gives you no other option really than to apply this directly on the skin, which isn't great for sanitary reasons. This is really quite a loose formula. You can't really tell exactly how loose it is because obviously it didn't have a pump dispenser so you can't see whether it, it'd stand proud on the skin. But um, I can definitely tell you that uh, it's quite a thin product. Okay. Hmm. It is quite watery on the skin and uh, although this says that this is best for anybody with dry skin, it's already clung to a dry patch on my skin, which creamier consistency foundations don't tend to do. So that is the first thing that I've noticed. You will already be aware if you've watched my full face of Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is not my favorite brand. This is so heavily scented, by the way. You can smell this as soon as you open the jar, which also isn't great. The coverage is good though. The coverage is good. Major positive. This is covering quite well, considering that it is quite a thin consistency. So pigmentation, no issues. Now I do have a little bit of fake tan on, so, uh, I obviously picked this shade before I applied the fake tan. It is slightly too pale for me. 
but uh, we'll run with it. I'll bronze it up a little bit later. I'm actually quite surprised at how much I actually like it. I don't like this area here where you can visibly see that it sank in and clinging to my dry patch around this area. But um quite like it and this foundation is seriously affordable. Right, I'm going to take a sponge and apply this. You actually don't need too much product. I can't exactly tell you how much product you're going to need because I can't tell you in pumps how much I've actually used because, you know, it doesn't have a pump. But um, I wouldn't say I'd used an excessive amount. It's the normal amount of foundation that I would use. Okay, so it's obviously too pale for me. The finish though is really quite pretty and the coverage is excellent. Absolutely fantastic. For the amount of product that I actually put on my face, the coverage is really, really good. I do like the finish. I'm gonna go and put the rest of my products on and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look for today and I am so, so pleased. I tried so hard at the beginning of this review when I first started to apply this foundation to my face not to have any preconceived ideas on whether I was gonna like this foundation or whether I was going to hate it. But really deep down, I was just thinking, oh, another wet and wild foundation that I'm really not going to like. And, um, I really like it. I know there is a patch of dry skin that this foundation has clung to, but it is a really dry patch of skin. It's not your usual dry skin that you would have on your face. The rest of my face, which is also dry, looks absolutely fantastic. This is an extremely flattering foundation. Yes, it's dewy, but it's not that wet, oily, dewy look. It's a very natural, luminous sheen on the skin. Extremely flattering, very, very youthful, and um, I really, really like it. For an affordable foundation, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This did stay slightly tacky to the touch. I have not powdered around the perimeter of my face. I've powdered slightly, and when I say slightly, I mean really, really the tiniest, minusculest amount of powder has gone between my eyebrows and around here. This is definitely not completely airbrushed my skin, but it has blurred all my imperfections. So although my pores haven't been completely airbrushed out, they are definitely not more evident than they were before. So that is a real result for a dewy foundation. I'm really, really impressed. This is so lightweight on my skin, it doesn't feel like I have any foundation on my skin, which is absolutely amazing. And although I did say that there is a patch down here that the foundation has sank into and clung to, you have to get really up close to actually notice that. Now let me zoom you in so you can see this in natural lighting, so you can really see what I'm talking about. So you can see how beautiful this is on my skin. It's just really glowy and really luminous, very, very fresh. You can see the patch where the foundation has clung to my dry skin. Like I said earlier, my skin is really, really dry in that area. My skin is also dry everywhere else and it looks absolutely fantastic. So, so happy with how this looks on my skin. I am hoping that this has the longevity that it promises and it's really long wearing, but only time will tell whether that is going to be the case. If it is, I think we're on to a winner. I'm really hoping this doesn't go oily and break down throughout the day. I'm gonna go and get on with my day. I will see you all in the check-in a little bit later on. Keep your fingers crossed, everyone. Welcome back to the check-in. It's now been just under 10 hours since I first applied the foundation to my face. I'd love to say this is now my favorite foundation and it's a £5.99 foundation and I'm gonna save so much money but it hasn't gone well enough for me to now make that claim. It's done okay, but I think that's as far as it goes. There is no foundation left on my chin at all, and I haven't had 
a really busy day. I mean, I have had a busy day. I'm really tired. I often find that my foundations react differently if I'm tired. So that is one thing that we can say that might be the cause of some of the issues that I'm having. But I haven't had a hectic day. I have been editing for most of the afternoon and I've also been filming other videos as well. So I have been sat still, I haven't been running around and there is still bits of the foundation missing on the tip of my nose. Just my chin is just, there's nothing there at all. Now I did say I had a dry patch earlier on and I am now thinking, looking at my skin, um, which I will show you in natural lighting in a moment, it's a mess. And uh, I do think that possibly a couple of days ago I may have overdone the tretinoin and it started to flake a little bit because that dry patch that I mentioned earlier on has now turned into a lot of flakage, shall we say. And it's not only on this side now, it's also on this side. So I'm thinking this isn't the foundation. It may be something that I have done with my skincare. So that is also something we need to bear in mind when we're having a look at this in natural lighting. So let me show you my chin area first because that is the area that's done so poorly. I have no flaking on the tip of my chin yet. I don't have any product left on the tip of my chin at all. You can see the flaking at the sides of my mouth, um, which looks rather unsightly. And uh, you can also see that there's very little foundation left on my nose. But as you go further up, the foundation looks really, really nice. I am not going to form an opinion on this foundation just now. As far as I'm concerned, it's done just okay. This hasn't sank into my fine lines or wrinkles. It feels very, very lightweight on the skin. If I wasn't tired and if I hadn't applied too much tretinoin, maybe this would have done so much better. So I will update you in a future video. At the moment, this is just okay, but there may be room for improvement. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.